quality over quantity. This is your first day in real estate, and I am your real estate sales trainer and coach, James Festini. And this is the program that's gonna teach you how to sell more real estate in less time. If you are sitting there thinking to yourself, I've got to hit my 100, now is the time to stop. Here's what you're gonna do. You're going to go into your contact management software and you're gonna say, how many leads do I have? Assuming, like me, I use the Mojo Dialer, I have been scheduling follow-ups. That is the most important function of a CRM, CRM, contact or customer, relationship manager, customer, lead, relationship, nurture, manager, the next call date. Without the M in CRM, there is no CR. Customer, I got a lead. Relationship, I got to build this relationship. Manager, how under the rules of time can I follow through with these individuals until they are ready to transact? This is this, it's the holy trinity of sales. Customer, relationship, manager, CRM. Got the customer, got the name and number. Hi, my name is AJ with Company. I was going to see if you're interested in your house. Well, I was thinking about it, but not right now because of whatever. Great. I got a customer or potential, a lead, a, a, a referral or whatever. You got a name and a number of individual who has your money. Who's got my money, right? Got their name. Relationship. Ooh, that's the topic of today. That's the topic of today. Relationship. We build these relationships based on the communication frequency providing value providing a connection building rapport communicating with them over time or they get to know like and trust you are you seeing the r in the crm where it is customer consumer contact relationship now don't get me wrong i'm not huggy feely i'm not lovey dovey I'm not kissy poo. I don't sit there and say, oh, I love your dog. It's just, you know, it's not my character. I got enough, I got family. I don't need more family. I got a couple of friends and I definitely don't need more friends. What I do need is to gain their trust by building a relationship, by showing genuine concern. Quality over quantity. When you are setting out to lead generate, let me identify these two different factors, lead generation, follow-up. They are peanut butter and jelly, but one is peanut butter and one is jelly. Peanut butter is not jelly and jelly is not peanut butter. Are you understanding this? Lead generation is strictly for the purposes of obtaining a name, a number, an email, or somebody who can go into the relationship. Right now we're doing these cold calls because we got nothing. We don't have any business, we don't have past clients, sphere of influence, we got nothing in our pipeline. So we're, we're out there fishing, right? We've got this fishing system, but now once we find our niche, our, we, we compile a, a, a grouping of individuals who say maybe, now we no longer have to go out and look for them. Now we have them on our hands. And the reason I'm getting at this is uh, I, I myself, and I have several one-on-one -on -one students who fall in it for years. I've had this trap where everybody stays focused on the lead generation process. They go out and find them because it feels productive. If you spend three, four, eight, ten hours of call, calling, hi, my name is Adrian. Coming out, calling CBN. Hi, my name is Adrian. Calling CBN. Hi, my name is. Adrian. You feel like you're doing something, right? It's kind of like. Remember when we were teenagers, when we were younger, we we're like, warm up, stretch out, come on, let's just play. And now as we're older, we're like, I need to stretch out a little bit. It's the stretching out that we avoid because it doesn't suit us. But now as we are seasoned agents, we need that stretch out. We need to stretch out every day before we start running. And every once in a while, we should stop running and just stretch. I'm not even going to go into this. Quality over quantity. What does that mean? It means that, do you have a database of leads? Have you been listening to my systems? Have you been following my systems? How many of you, please, please, please put in the comments below, James, I'm listening. Just that's all, I'm listening. Say to me the 
you've been listening to me, but you're not getting any listings because I haven't really divulged or emphasized how important it is to do the other part. My students, my one-on-ones, sometimes I forget because they don't understand because I'm a real estate agent first and a sales trainer and coach second. So I will teach you how to do this, but I'm with my flaws. I have my faults. I have people list without me because of my lack of follow-up. Follow-up. Customer relationship manager. Relationship, a.k.a. follow-up. Manager, meaning timeline by which you follow up. Customer acquisition, customer relationship building, follow up, which includes the... So there's almost like this, when you create a customer, there's only two steps left. Relationship and follow up. Follow up leads to relationship. Relationship leads to the next follow up. The next, I've said this since 1993, since I first started, the most important button, the most important function, the most important feature of any contact relationship manager is one button, and that is next call date. Next call date, meaning what's my next move? Yes, we had a conversation today, what's my next move? Because if the conversation today did not lead to an appointment, there is a next. Hi, my name is Adrian Company. We spoke a couple weeks ago. Are you ready? No? Great. Let's keep in touch. What's that next keep in touch? That's the relationship. But in order in this day and age during the situation, the relationship has to be quality over quantity. Don't confuse them. What if I sat down to do 100 contacts a day, but instead I sat down and called the 100, 200, 300 leads that I've acquired through my door knocking, cold calling, lead generation, expired for sale by owner, all the other leads that I have in this database. And if you've been listening to me, and I know some of you have been, you have this database. And yet, and the database is anywhere from 20 to 500. And yet, this database does not achieve that 100 contact status. You're not going to reach 100 people here because you've got a total of 400 at a 6%. Let's say you got 100 at a 6% pickup ratio, you're going to talk to six people. So if you focused on contacting those 100 leads, you're only going to talk to six people a day. But what if you're interested in tying it off and you're like, I need 100 and you only get six. At the end of the day, you're going to be like, I didn't even get a buzz. But if you had six conversations, and therein lies the essence of my conversation, what if in that 6% you got a pure hit of conversation adrenaline? What if in that 6%, in that six contacts out of the 100 leads you got, you stopped and you weren't saying, hi, blah, 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 oh, blah, 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 okay, blah, 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 later, and poof, into the future. But if you slowed down and said, hey, Sit back, kick your heels back, and say, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, this is Agent with Company. We've been keeping in touch, and I was just curious, are you getting there? I know you might not be ready because the incubation, you, let's put it this way. If you wanted to go into growing avocados, an avocado tree from what I'm gathering is like seven to 10 years. If you went into the avocado orchard, either you buy an orchard or you buy seeds and you wait five to seven to 10 years or you buy some seedlings. But right now, you're coming into this business thinking you're going to walk in, buy an avocado orchard for free or cheap. And then all of a sudden, you're going to be like, bam, here's my avocados and you're going to sell them. And that is not the case. There's this time that has to happen, this slow incubation, gestation, uh, pregnation period that happens from I'm pregnant and I'm having a baby. And when you have your baby, your avocado, your orange tree, whatever, you have to plant the seed today. I cannot plant a seed today and expect a tree tomorrow. Therefore, what is this nurture CRM, contact relationship manager? The relationship is the watering and how is the quality of your water? Are you just going over there, sink, water, tap, water, boom, gone, bye, son, take care of it. Or are you slowing down and saying, you know what? Let me mulch this, let me slow down. Quality over quantity. And I'm seeing some seriously good results from this, from what I was doing before, and my behavior is your behavior. If you're learning from me, I'm learning. 
and I'm teaching as I'm learning, even 28 years, 1300 sides and some change, doesn't change the fact that I've still got bad habits and that goes back to my follow-up. I'm following up with these individuals and I'm saying, hey, Mr. Mrs. Sell, are you ready to sell? No, okay, thanks, bye. Hey, Mr. Mrs. Sell, are you ready to sell? No, okay, thanks, bye. Instead of... Welcome to the Festini Factor, a weekly program that every day of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you're gonna get a piece of content, actionable items, something that at $50 a month will be an absolute no-brainer. Every weekday, you're gonna receive one video. Monday, we're gonna have motivational messages. Monday mindset is what it's called. One of the questions everyone asks, how do I keep going? I'm gonna let you in on that. The Monday motivational. Tuesday is gonna be technology. Every Tuesday, I'm gonna deliver you a message about the latest and greatest technology, whether it's old school or new school. Every week, you're gonna get a technology Tuesday tip. Wednesday, Wednesday is marketing. Whether you do it online or you're going old school, if you're going door to door and you're creating marketing pieces, you're creating flyers, every Wednesday, I'm gonna to deliver to you actionable plans, actionable items, where you can download a template for marketing, whether it's an email marketing piece or an actual printed piece that you can take with you to the doors or a mailer that you can do. You can start adding and building your letter library. Wednesday is gonna be marketing pieces, the world of marketing. Marketing. That's a big day for us. Thursday. Thursday is going to be sellers, exclusively dedicated to handling sellers, either obtaining listings, negotiating contracts, scripts, dialogues, expires for sell by owners, you name it. If it's a seller, I'm going to cover it. And of course, Friday, the last day of the week, setting you up for the weekend, buyers. Every Friday, I'm going to give you tips and pieces of advice on how to generate buyer leads, how to handle buyer leads, and that includes negotiating, that, how to get your offer accepted, how to write the perfect offer a, a whole system that I share with you so that you can go out there and get to work thanks for watching so now I've got the lead. I got the lead now I've got the relationship and in the relationship I've got so many leads that I don't even have time to go through them I'm just like oh man I gotta up and call these people hey you ready to sell no hey you ready to sell no and you know there's a few big coaches the biggest one actually the number one who you know who he is the father will say, if they're not interested in selling in the next seven, or maybe he's changed his tune to 30 days, if they're not interested in doing this now, kick him to the curb, which defies all logic because I, he's coming from an era where you carried, you know, eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper, and I'm coming from an era where I can carry eight, you know, 800,000 11 sheets of paper on a digital platform and elevate the cream to the top. So I'm cold calling. And I'm sifting, and I'm shifting, and I'm filtering, and I'm rising the cream to the top from the hell no, to the mm, hell not, to the mm, maybe, to the man, to the who okay, what's my price worth? Yeah, actually, I'm interested. I might have an agent. There might be some situation, some other. And there's all these objections and conditions, but there's something there for me to continue to follow up on. And maybe, boop, a little seed pops up. And I'm going to say, here's a seed. I'm going to keep planting seeds, but there's this little tree here. And I'm going to give a little extra water. Make sure the seed, make sure there's no fleas or flies or anything. And I'm going to let it grow. And I'm going to run it. And all of a sudden, there's a fruit. And I'm eating it. And it's $20,000 fruit. Are we jiving here? The nurture. So I'm going into these contacts now. And I'm saying, hi, this is James, agent with company. I was just calling to see if you were still, I've been keeping in touch. I was calling to see if you're still thinking about selling your house. And I'm not looking to check that box. This is, oh, check 100. Here's one, two, three, four, blah, 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 100. I'm now saying, I don't care if I sit on the phones for six hours a day. If I have one conversation an hour, conversation an hour, I'm doing triple line dialer. I've got a team of people. Yes. Because that one conversation deepens and strengthens. And I was on a 45 minute phone call earlier today, which completely defies the laws of Festini logic. 45 minutes on a conversation? Do you know how many contacts you can get on a triple line dollar, double fisting, 45 minutes? Man, you missed out on at least like 15 or 20. This was an individual who said, maybe, months, weeks, months ago, said, maybe I'm interested. And I've been dripping 
whether it's through my CMAs, whether it's through my mail, through my email. Again, the five, do you know the five? Mail, email, text, phone call, message, doors. There are only five platforms by which you can func function in the CRM of the planet, consumer relationship manager, mail, email, text, voicemail, door and I've exhausted these five and I've been nurturing with these five and I go to them and I say we've been keeping in touch oh yeah hey James I love your marketing you guys ready well you know blah, blah, blah. and instead of me trying to shut them down because I'm not setting the appointments right that's what we're doing we're like, uh, setting the appointment get an appointment or get off the phone close if you get the leads close right it's not about the close right now it may or may not work. We cannot think like it's 1993, 2003, 2013. We gotta think like it's right now. And these people are just, it's just a jumbled mess of and they're clicking or they're not clicking, they're reading the paper. Whatever they're reading, you need to slow. Slow down and ask them questions. We've got all the scripts and information. Slow down. Yes, our computers are faster, our internet's faster, the traffic's faster, the information's faster, but what about these individuals? Are they faster? Do they want to just speak about a topic? Slow down. You don't need a hundred today. Quality over quantity. If you contact 10 people today, but they are the 10 hottest leads you've got. If you see your database and you've got 100 contacts and you stop and do in Mojo, what's called click to call, not run them through the dialer where it goes no, I'm still making the sound effects because we're just powering and hammering through them instead of just saying, run the click one call at a time, even if I got to finger dial them, and I look at the lead and I say, I got 100. It's 9 a.m. I got 100. Number one, Mrs. Albertson. Mrs. Albertson was, uh, okay, here's the conversation. Here's what I had. All right, I haven't talked to her in a couple months. Beep, boop, boop. Beep, boop, boop. Beep, boop, 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 boop. And you do this. What is this? This is called finger dialing. Beep, boop, boop. You're not even using it. You can use click to call. So go ahead and put your headset in click to call. And Mojo will go and you sit there and ring two, three, four, five times. And you're looking at the contact and you see the notes and you see the address and you see your last contact. Did you use the, the five pillars, the Festini five? Mail, email, text, messaging, phone, and door. Mr. Mrs. Albertson, it is July 2020. Mrs. Albertson, I talked to her in March of 2020, said she was going to be selling in April. I'm looking at her record. Let me click this button on Mojo in particular. Let me go on my other CRM and click Zillow or the MLS. Have they sold? We're stopping. We're not like three rings out of here. We're not dismissing dismissive leads if you watch that video. We're not doing that. We're looking at them one at a time. We're saying, what's her story? When was the last time I talked to her? Do I have the right number? Should I run a skip trace through Mojo? Skip Tracer does this thing where it'll check for other phone numbers, other email addresses, and tell you. I've gotten listings this year from running a skip trace where I'm like, God, I've called these people like 60 times. They don't answer. We're on a skip trace. Oh, there's another number I didn't have. Hey, oh, hey, it's James. Yeah, okay, come on, list me. Boom, sold like that. So you got to look at these and say, what are the missing elements of this contact relationship manager? The relationship is about gathering data, looking at information. Do I have the right number? Has their number been disconnected? Has my dialer run the number through and not really done? Have I stopped to mail? Have I sent them a letter? If Mrs. Anderson or Mrs. Albertson said, I'm going to be selling in March, February, February, March, April of 2020, did I send her a letter? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, let me call her first. All right, we're gonna mail, email, text, call, door, in that order. So the easiest one is clearly call them. Ring, 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 no answer. Okay, let me send her a letter. 
Oh, well, well, first let me check the system and see if she sold. She hasn't sold. We talked. Okay, I'm going to put her on a letter campaign because she needs mail. Mail is back like like there's nobody's business mail. And I'm going to, do I have her email address? Yeah, I actually, she gave me her email address at the door last year. So let me send her an email. Click on the bomb bomb. Hey, Mrs. Such and Such, Mrs. Anderson, we met a couple of months ago at the door. Um, it's a crazy world, right? But anyhow, I was reaching out to see if you've been getting my information, my updates. If there's anything I can do, please give me a call. Check. Boom. Done. Send. S text message. You know what? That was her cell phone number. Okay, Mrs. This is what I call the blitz. Mrs. Jones, sorry for the interruption. I'm sure you see my missed calls, but I would love to know if you were still thinking about selling your house. Just let me know. Boop. Send. Mail. Uh, mail. Email. Text. Boom. I called her. She didn't answer. Her answer machine come up. Hi, Miss Agent. Mrs. Anderson. This is Agent with Company. We met a couple months ago. Have you? When was the last time you left a message? Customer relationship manager. Just my leave the message. Maybe she got you as blocked as a caller ID. Boom. All of them done. And yet you know she's there. You've done all these for quality over quantity. Every one of your leads matter unless you're full of it, unless you've been lying to yourself, unless these are not leads, but are you dismissing dismissive leads and these dismissive leads are dismissing you not because they're saying, I'm not ready. Maybe they don't know your caller ID. Maybe they aren't ready. Maybe the time is right, but they're talking to another agent. Maybe they're not. Anything could be happening. But for you to auto-generate a dismission based on your interpretation, and you haven't exhausted these five men in the door, absolutely, it's still alive, sure. Hey, show up at their door, wear a mask, ring the doorbell, step back 10, 15, over the exaggerated social distancing, pull off your mask, they see it hanging on your chin and say, Hey, Mrs. Jones, it's me. Remember me a couple months ago? I'm keeping my social distance. I'm wearing a mask, but I really can't get a hold of you by the phone. Are you still thinking about selling your house? No? All right. Thank you very much. Uh, are you getting my emails? Okay, great. And you go back. Exhaust the five. I got a student right now who insists on door knocking everyone. He's like, I'm going to go knock on the door because I can't get a hold of them. And I'm looking, did you send them a letter? Nope. Well, okay. What do you mean you can't get a hold of them? You haven't even tried to reach them. These are all three passive, by the way, so they're not going to respond anyhow. Mail, email, text messaging. Maybe text messaging, they'll respond to you, but have you texted them? Oh, well, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, no, how about you text them before you drive over there? They're not answering the phone, but maybe they're text people. No, my name's Agent Company. We met at the door a couple months ago. Please excuse the text. I'm sure you've seen my missed calls, but I'm just curious to find out. Were you still thinking about making a move in 2020? And then just let it ping. No, actually, we're not. Hallelujah. I saved me a 15-minute trip and another mask on my face for another 10 minutes. Quality over quality. Quality over quantity. Stop. If you've got leads, stop lead generating. Lead generation are for those. Lead generation is for those who don't have leads. If you have leads, don't lead generate. If you don't have leads, lead generate. If you have leads and you call them, and now you don't have any more because they didn't answer, lead generate. If you have leads and it spent you the whole day to call them, but you didn't get to lead generate, guess what? Call this list again. Call this list again. Call this list again, AKA, here's my schedule, 9 a.m. I get in here, I call my warm follow-ups. I have 300, I got probably about 450 leads, 350 who I need to talk to yesterday, who have said maybe, maybe not over the last couple of times, but they just don't answer the phone because that's the nature of follow-up. That's why it feels less productive. The pickup rate on 100 repeated or 300 repeated drops because you're calling the same number of people who are hotter. Whereas if you call a database of 10, 15, 20, 30,000, you're going to get a picker, bigger pickup rate because they are just, you're plowing through this field instead of working the dirt that's on the soil. Does that make sense? If you're a farmer, it's easier to start in a whole new field with fresh new soil than it is to till and rotate the soil that you already have in some cases. I don't, what the hell do I know? I'm not a farmer. But I'm getting at is that the nutrients in this one is still there. You just have to work harder to extract them. It is 2020. Incubation periods are far more extreme. Right now we've got incubation with quarantine. Incubation with quarantine. Incubation with quarantine. What does that mean? People are super hot to sell, but they 
can't. So why wouldn't you pick up the phone and say, are you thinking of selling, but you can't? Well, do you wish you could? Well, did you know the market's hotter than ever and the prices have increased beyond what it was before the crash? Remember the crash? How long you've been there? 10 years? Remember kicking yourself for the last 10 or 15 years that you wish you could have sold now? It's here. Mr. and Mrs. Seller, what do you think is going to happen with the market? Well, we don't know. Me neither. Do you think it'll get better or do you think it'll get worse? I think it might get worse. Okay, well, if you think it'll get worse, take the money and run. If you think it'll better, how much better will it be? 10,000, 15,000, is it worth the wait to gamble? Are you a gambling person? No, well, how about we just go to the cashier, cash your chips, I can get you an offer, we put the precautions, we put the safety in there. So, but these are, these are closing signals for individuals who are far more motivated. We're talking about incubation, we're looking for individuals who might be interested and in following up with them and saying, hi, Let's get to know each other a little bit better without me closing in for the appointment or hanging up on you before my time is up. And if you're willing to listen to me for what used to be 6 to 15 seconds, now will you give me 15 to 15 seconds to a minute? I'm going to squeeze it. Hey, by the way, where are you guys thinking about going? If you were to go, uh, when would that be? Have you guys given yourself a timeline? What do you think it might be worth? You know, if you could get a good price, would you consider it? Have you seen what the market is doing with this whole situation right now have you been paying attention the guys i don't watch the news a whole bunch because it's super depressing but what are they saying about the market oh really that's interesting because i'm seeing on the ground i'm throwing i'm throwing objections at you that shouldn't be written down and repeated but they're natural conversations that need to happen that you would have with a friend who you weren't under the spell of i want commission so much as don't worry about the commission i'm getting paid because I'm not worried about the commission. We're unemployed from the day we get our license, we're unemployed. So don't worry about getting paid. We ain't gonna get paid unless we work. Now worry about work. If you work and you lead generate, you get the customer acquisition, whether they are a customer or not yet, doesn't matter, you have a name, number, email address, communicate, they have slight interest, that's enough. Find out, are they still interested? And what can you do to provide value along the way? I'd love to send you out some information about what the market's doing, maybe later. Have you been seeing what the market's been doing during this COVID situation? I would love to send you out information and keep you posted on the value. You'd be surprised. People are getting multiple offers, bidding wars, yada, yada. Can I email you information? No, it's okay, no problem. So how long have you been? And, and it's weird because I'm my. if you average my conversations over the last 25, 30, 28, yeah, 28 years, you would see I'm just like, Brruh. The, and I'm I, and I've never really slowed down unless I'm ready to close them. But now, and over some period of time, I've been looking and listening to myself and the conversations, and I'm having deeper conversations because now it's about getting to the point where they know, like, and trust you in a world where they don't know, like, or trust anything right now. They don't know where to go. Yeah, I have an agent, but you know we're not at the social clubs. Yeah, I have an agent, but I don't know if they're any good. It's this time where you can inject yourself as the expert, but continue to remain in a method of communication that doesn't let them think that you're pushing them as much as you're providing them value should they choose to interview one more person, which more often than not, if they've got any doubts about the other agent or if they have any doubts about their ability to do it on their own or if they have any doubts about their previous agent or whoever, that you might be able to be the one that's most recognized because right now there's too many agents your goal and objection objective is to be the one they think of. How do you do that? Mail, email, text messaging, phone call, and door if it's the last resort. But if you use these three, these three passive and this active method, and you exhaust all of these three, you drip on them once a month with a mailer. You send them an email with a great market analysis and market update, and you're doing the drip campaigns. And then every once in a while, when you can't reach them, you send them a text message, how's it going, and they don't respond. And then you call them every once in a two or three, four weeks, depending on their motivation. You have that quick little in and out conversation, sense how long they're willing to listen to your garbage or value, and then put them into a drip campaign, customer relationship manager. The customer 
potential relationship, no like and trust manager because sometimes it doesn't happen today. So I've got to manage this relationship. Once obviously I close the deal and we are long on our ways and happily ever after, keys are exchanged, checks are cashed. There's still this customer relationship manager which is called past client sphere of influence, which are a whole different thing that we got to talk about another time. I hope I made sense to you. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys are interested in my programs, jamesfestini.com forward slash training. I've got a $50 a month where you get unlimited access to all of my video coaching and training. And then of course, I've got one-on-one -on -one where you get all access to my video coaching and training, but you also get one hour a week with me. Find out more at jamesfestini.com forward slash training. Get back to work. People ask me all the time, where do I get my data? How do I have so many good numbers without spending an arm and a leg? Because I recommend you get it from three places and I merge them to create the ultimate white pages. Two of them are Cold Realty Resources and TelephoneList.biz. They will provide you names, addresses, phone numbers, along with email addresses scrubbed against the do not call list, available for both US and Canada. Now, you know I do a lot of door knocking and my favorite app to use is Realty Buddy, a GPS tracking software with robust goal setting and follow-up campaigns. Realty Buddy takes care of the hassle and Realty Buddy is the success to my door knocking. It's only available on iOS though, so sorry Android, but I will recommend Knockwise, they're really good too. Now, have you seen my amazing local market videos for my real estate business? In one word, Teradatum. They make videos branded to your brokerage and automatically update them every month with videos by zip code, county, city, and your hyper local market, and it's extremely affordable. Have you guys seen my website lately? Well, you should. It's absolutely gorgeous. I owe it all to Zentap. They will help you with your advertising using your MLS, IDX, and social media to attract an audience and engage your leads using sophisticated bots. Now, you're gonna need a powerful CRM to manage all of this, and as you know, Mojo Selling Solutions is more than just a dialer. It's the most powerful CRM bar none. Mojo provides you expires for sell by owners, and that is the third list of data, along with email and mail campaigns. For more information on any of these products, along with my personal coaching and training products, go to jamesfestini.com today. Or just show financial support at any amount on patreon.com forward slash jamesfestini. Now, get back to work.